Hi, Soul Family. Okay, we got bumped off. So we got at least the first two cards, right? And now we're going to go on to the next. Hopefully we can get the last two. So now we're going to go on to the white cat that had the butterfly necklace. Okay, if you chose that. I can't even remember what I chose. Oh, I chose the first one and the last one. Okay. Correct for neutrality. Ooh, I chose the first one. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> okay. Eight of spring. Okay, first of all, the number eight is a number of infinity, right? It's the abundance. And you can see, look at all the bees. So, and you think about the, the bee. It's interesting that they show the bees with the eight. Well, it makes sense because the body of the bee is like the figure eight. And they're showing you that you're going to be presented with many under, wonderful opportunities. And it's going to come all at one time. So you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. And yet, it's what you want, right? It's kind of like with me, right? I want, I, want, I want my work calls. I need my work calls. It's important for me right now. But I'm trying to multitask. So you may find that, that you're trying to multitask. And it's, it's a little bit stressful. It's like, it's like going on a holiday, right? You're super excited. You want to go. But actually, holidays are stressful. Getting flights arranged, you know, getting there, traffic. It's always stressful. And by the time you get to where you're at, you definitely need your vacation. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. You've got too many things to do. You're juggling all these different priorities. You're needing to multitask. There's important information coming for sure, but you've just got, maybe you've got too much going on, right? You're stressed out because you've got too many irons in the fire, right? Um, so one, two, well, clearly there's going to be eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So if you had eight things happen all at one time, that's overwhelming. And spirit understands that. So ask spirit for help to handle. Keep my energy calm. Like this morning, I had to keep calm. I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? I, I don't, patience isn't more in my forte. I'm an Aries, okay? I move quickly. So sometimes we can't because it's not, it's outside of us. We're not in control of everything, right? So ask for help in keeping calm. Allow, allow whatever you can't do, don't stress it. You're not able to do it. You know what? If this phone cuts off, it cuts off. What can I do? You know, I'm working. I'm doing the best that I can. That's what you need to tell yourself. Just do the best you can and that's good enough. It could be that these bees are coming to deliver a message. Busy bee. Remember, remember the birds cheeping? Well, somebody could be a busy bee. Busy body. Hmm. So you could be receiving information. But I would say, because it's wonderful opportunities, it's, it's good information. It's not going to be something, it's not, it's not going to be gossip. Somebody is going to relay a message to you. It could be spirit, it could be a friend, it could be emails, letters. I don't know how it comes. Also, these ones are flying. So somebody could be flying somewhere, or maybe you are going to be flying somewhere. Getting an opportunity possibly to do that. Busy as a bee, right? Get busy and get after the honey. <laughs> That's basically the message here. So, you look at the Barigolds, and they've got, look at all these little compartments. I think about this. I talked about this today at the Apple Store. I said to this guy, he was trying to, you know, remove, like, transfer all my pictures into one file and then get them all to move them over to the new iPad that I was going to get, which I didn't end up getting. And uh, in the midst of doing that, I said, can, can I say something? And then I thought, well, maybe I won't bother you. And he says, no, it's okay. And I said, well, are you able to, and I didn't want to insult him, but some people can't really multitask very well right? Like my ex, he'd have to turn the radio down to find a street because he couldn't think when, when the radio was going, he, when he was looking for a street. Some people don't have the ability to, to multitask with a lot of things. The marigolds are showing all of these different compartments, right? So maybe you need to compartmentalize things so that you don't get overwhelmed. Break it down into what's, what do I need to do right now? What is the most vital, most important thing right now, right? Also, look at, there's eight ones here. You don't have to do everything. Remember the first thing I said is, we always think that we have to do it all. No, we don't. We can hand it off to spirit and say, you know what? You bring it to me, this is what I need. You know what I need, work it out for me. Or give me help. You know, bring me other people that can help me. Or maybe you know other people that you can delegate. You don't have to do everything yourself. Maybe you're a very busy worker, right? You're the lead wor worker and you've got these people working for you. So they're, they're getting information for you and bringing it back to you so that you can get all this stuff to prepare. You know what I mean? Delegate, delegate, delegate. It's basically the message. It's kind of like in a family. I know I'm talking quickly, but I'm trying to get our cards out. Um, you're running a family, right? 
you've got a couple kids, your husband's working, you're working, it's dinner time. Hey, can you set the table? Can you get the salad going? Can you, you don't do it all yourself because you can't do it all yourself. You're tired. I was the worst multitasker in the world when I had kids because I wanted everything done perfectly. So I insisted on pretty much doing it myself, which was stupid. First of all, my kids, you know, now, my kids are amazing, right? Eventually I, I realized I had to let them do it. <laughs> and you know what? So there's a message in, in, in that itself. Nobody's gonna do what you want done exactly the way you want it done. So if there is something particularly that's really important to you, you handle that and let the other ones handle things that are less important. What's the most important thing to you, you keep your eyes on. Don't hand that off to someone else because it doesn't mean anything to them, not the way it does to you. So if something is precious to you, something is very important to you, because sometimes people were supposed to take care of things. Well, I did, but they didn't handle it the way you would have handled it or they misunderstood something because they didn't understand the situation and everything went sideways. So if something is very important to you, you handle that yourself. Um, what else? Well, be grateful because what's coming in front of you is awesome, like wonderful opportunities. So even though, don't, don't get stuck in the stress, right? Ugh, phone's ringing. This is happening. I'm trying to record the reading. Yeah, well, be grateful your phone's ringing, Sherry. You just spent $170 you didn't think you were going to spend, right? <laughs> so remember to be grateful for the, for the opportunities, even if they are stressing you out. Anger. Ooh. Anger. Why are you angry? You build a wall. Okay, because maybe you're, you're getting stressed out. And because you're stressed out, you're snapping at people. Well, that's not going to help the situation. It's not going to make things better for you. It's not going to help the people that are working for you. So call upon spirit to release that. Release. You don't want to build a wall up. Don't stand with your arms folded across you. Don't come across in a bitchy manner or no one's going to want to help you. Right? Well, perhaps justified, your anger blocks the solution. Anger is fear calling out for love. So what are you afraid of? get to the heart of the matter. So you're supposed to do something. There's opportunities in front of you, but you're stressed out. Song right now, my heart's a stereo. Beats for you, so listen close. Hear my thoughts in every note. So this is somebody that needed to come forward and speak to someone, and they're getting stressed out. And that stress can cause them to get angry at other situations because they're stressed out. Sometimes we are stressed out and because of that, we react to other things. And then when one thing goes wrong, then you draw all the other stuff to you, right? So maybe, maybe like for me, I, my, I just got a brand new iPhone. I drop it on the ground and I smash the screen. Really? Really? Did I really need that right now? So you have the right to be upset about that. But it's not going to help you to stay in a place of anger. You've got to let it go. Release it. What's going on? What, why are you angry? Are you actually angry or are, actually, are you scared? Because you've got this opportunity to present something to somebody and you're freaking nervous. You're nervous. You're, you're, your gut's in a knot. You're shaking and, and, and you're knocking things over. And you're, you're, that slows you down. And then, you know, you, you've got so much on your mind that you... like so much under your hat that, that other people aren't aware of. They're like, la, 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 la. I'll tell you a story. My mom went grocery shopping. I have no idea what happened to her that day. I have no idea. Clearly it wasn't good. She came home. She was very upset. I was happy as a clam. I was, I don't know, 15. And she said, Sherry, can you put the groceries away? And she was snappy because she was mad about something, you know? And, uh, I go into the, <laughs> I go to, to, put the apples into the bin in the fridge. And I literally just like, I held the bag up and just dropped the apples in. Bang, 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 bang. And she goes, she starts screaming at me. And I thought, geez, right? I'm not thinking, I'm a kid. You know, go ahead and bruise every single apple, right? Like that was just perfect. Can you think? But my mom, you know, she's angry and she had a very caustic tongue and she just started getting really nasty and it escalated. Everything got out of control. And as a kid, I thought, geez, what's your problem? But the thing is, I didn't know what her problem was. You don't know that this person's got a shitload of things going on. Everything went wrong. All the plans that I made, there, everything's, there's one, one delay after another. I'm trying to get, catch this flight. I've got five minutes between this flight. I missed that one. You're so stressed out. And then you get to the place, you're angry, you're frustrated, and you forget that you're actually going somewhere fun. 
<laughs> right? So put it into perspective and ask for help. I'm asking for help, right? Okay. And relax, and it's, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know why I had to spend that money that I don't have, I don't know. Maybe to learn that, you know, I almost bought an iPad, right? And I realized that, no, you know what? I don't want an iPad. I realized I would rather not have an iPad. I didn't like, I, I like having a mouse, like to, to move. So I realized that, you know, even if it's a refurbished MacBook, that's what I want. So maybe that was my lesson, I don't know. He also moved all my pictures into one place and I didn't know how to do that. So I had that done. I don't know, was it worth $170? I don't even know if it was 170, it may have been 165 or something, but still. All right, we're going to the Native American drum. It's a 10 minutes and 46 seconds. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I'm trying to, and see, because he's got all of these files moving over, I don't even want him to do it anymore. You know, I don't even want them to be sent over anymore, but I can't, uh, I guess I can't stop it. I'm trying to get my, upload our reading and I, it's, I've got 875 bazillion pictures <laughs> being transferred. Ten of spring. This keeps coming up. This is interesting to me. So, you're working too hard. You're working far too hard. And sometimes it's your mind. The stress will soon become too much. So reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. You know, and, and it, that's, that's a tough one when we got bills to pay, right? When, when, it's, when things are tight. But 10 is the ending of something. So maybe it's the end of whatever difficulty you've been going through. It's the end of something. And spring is new beginnings. So something is ending. I think it's the ending of a cold period, a difficult period. Because this is a rescue dog. And it feels like, you know what? Someone's coming to the rescue. You can relax. So reach out for help. Who can rescue you right now? Spirit, help me. You know what? I would prefer to do private readings right now. I really would. So if you could hand, ha, handle that, you know, the people that are wanting to get readings done, let's do them now. Hey, you guys, if you'd like a reading done, <laughs> my website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. Um, if you would like help with uh, dream analysis, with a private reading, with a ceremonial sage wands, with long distance Reiki healing, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. I, that way I, I, I work in peace, right? I don't deal with uh, people that call my hotline are stressed out and generally they're quite upset when they call. They're very stressed out. So that, that energy I pick up. So um, also for anyone who's just new to this channel, my YouTube channel, welcome. And please like and subscribe if you would like to get these videos and share the videos so other people can get the messages as well. So there's me asking for help, right? So you can do that. Spirit says delegate. There's a lot about delegating authority right now, isn't there? We don't have, we're being shown that we can trust in spirit. We, I work for spirit, spirit works for me. So I trust that they'll come through, right? And that's what they want you to do as well. Balance, it's about balancing your work and play. Maybe it's all work and no play for you. You just work all the time and you don't play. This is being hammered down big time. And so I know this message is for me. You know, I took the whole day off doing this other thing and I'm working again. So this card also speaks about being stressed out or being drained, right? But it also talks about you're overworking and the anxiety comes for reasons that are not fun. <laughs> like what happened for me today, right? Sometimes it's you're trying to make everyone else happy. You're trying to please other people and maybe you're, you're, you're doing it, but you're doing it to, at the expense of yourself. And then in doing so, you're not really giving in the proper way because we're supposed to give from our surplus. And that's, when we do that, we joyfully give. But when you're giving in a begrudging way or you're stressed out and you're kind of annoyed with it, you're not helpful. And I need to be careful too, because when I do uh, the calls, right, I have to ask, act really quickly, right? Answer really quickly and people want very, very fast answers. So if I find myself getting stressed out, I'm not gonna connect properly. So that's another thing as well. So. Maybe we can help ourselves by taking a, a power nap, taking a 10 minute break, making sure you get something to eat. Make sure that you're balancing your work and your play because you're gonna give yourself a migraine, you're gonna give yourself indigestion, you're gonna give yourself 
you know, somebody's got an upset stomach right now. I don't, but someone's got an upset stomach. They're anxious, they're nervous. Oh, I hear it right now. I jumped out of bed. This guy's asking, saying I want to marry her, and they're saying no. <laughs> Family doesn't agree. That's sad. That would make you nervous, right? Huh. Well, right now, basically, Spirit is saying there is someone who wants to help you, and that's Spirit. And there could be family. There could be friends. But it's also about making sure that you help yourself. And they want you to have fun. Have some fun. All work and no play makes Sherry a very dull girl. <laughs> and you know what? How about this too? Make sure that your work is fun. And when your work stops becoming fun, you need a break. Right? I love having calls with people that I can, you know, I hear, I can give them really good information and I'm happy and it, it lifts my energy. It makes me feel good. When I get off a call like that, I'm like, that I felt well, it was great. You know, thank you for calling today and allowing me to be the messenger, right? That was awesome to deliver that kind of news. But generally with, with the work that I've been having, it's uh, stress, negative. So let's, let's change your perspective. Oh, this is perfect because that's what I was just going to say. Change your perspective and, and, and say, you know what? I'm going to have awesome people call. I'm going, to have, I'm going to have really good news to deliver. Spirit, can you use me today to be the one to give good news and really simple, clear, quick answers? I would appreciate that. That would really help me. If I could be the one that gets to be the caller, gets me, right? And the message that I have gives them the message that they need to hear. So I'm going to change my perspective, and I'm going to, I'm, I see that happening. I del I'm just the messenger, too. I'm not going to get stressed out because the message that I have to deliver may not be what they like. Now, with my work, if they don't like their message, they get mad, they'll leave me negative feedback. And that lowers my rate. And recently, there's been a couple of mistakes by a very, very good client, long-time client, really good, and she said, you know, you're supposed to get five stars, and she said, oh my God, she goes, I, I, it pu I pushed the wrong button and you only got, I don't know what I got. She says, I'm so sorry, it won't allow me to fix it. And I said, that's okay. The next time you call in, you can maybe say something about it, you know. But it does. It lowers my rate. So we have to change our perspective and think, you know what? That's fine. If that happens, then the next one is going to be glowing, right? Change your perspective. If something goes sideways, that's okay. It'll be, it'll be balanced out. Everything that we look at in life, we look at through the veil of everything else that has happened before. So the song right now, this guy is going to ask for someone's hand, right? Well, actually, he's going to the parent and saying, you know, can I have your daughter's hand? And the guy's saying, hell no, I'll never give your approval. Or maybe he's asking his dad to, to you know, he says, I, I want your approval because I'm going to ask her. And they're saying, no, no. So maybe he's nervous. Maybe before he's talked to his parents about something and they have not agreed with his choices. So he's afraid to ask or afraid to tell anyone because he's thinking about the last time. Who knows? Right now she's looking at, what is she looking at? Looks like she's looking at a ring on her finger. Maybe she's thinking about that. Also looks like a bridal veil, doesn't it? Are you nervous about getting married? Something to do with marriage right now. Perspective, what does it say? How you interpret a situation is unique to you. You see through a veil of your past experiences. Pull yourself out of your limited perspective in order to glimpse the picture more clearly. So, okay, let's get out of the marriage thing. Let's go back to this. This one, you're overworking, right? You're stressed out. Yeah, well, every time I've asked, this has happened. Well, don't go there. This is different. Today's different than it was yesterday. This is a new day. Just because that happened last time, it doesn't mean it's going to happen this time. This is different. You go with a positive mindset. You hold a positive intention. You draw that energy towards you. Think positive. The guy right now who's stressing out about getting approval from his father... Just song right now, everything's going to be all right. Whatever's going to be is going to be. Just let it be. <laughs> That's what the song is saying. And they're saying to one another, as long as we're together, everything's going to be all right. So you know what? Even if they don't agree, we're good together. It's all in the way you look at it. Is this something that you want? Yes. Then you do what you need to do. And how other people deal with it is, is their deal. I don't need to be so uptight. My heart's been hurt a couple times by a couple guys who didn't treat me right. Okay, let's go back to the bridal thing. Maybe she's thinking about that. What if this guy does the same thing? What if, he, what if he lets me down? 
What if this turns out completely sideways? Or what if he's thinking that? This could be a guy, right? Maybe this is the guy. This is the guy who's going to ask the girl and he's now starting to have cold feet. He's freaking out. Oh my God. The last time was a disaster. What if I ask her and she says no? <laughs> okay, if you're to the point where you're going to ask someone to marry you, you already know they want you. Right? So let it go. That's fear. Whatever it is, your perspective, today's a different day than it was yesterday. So what happened in the past is not going to happen today. This is a whole new world. The way you go at it, the way you go in for it, that affects the situation. That's your message. So at 20 minutes and 35 seconds, we're done. I will try and get these uploaded if I can as quickly as possible, you guys. Um, oh, and if you do order a reading or anything else on my website, please communicate with me through my email about what you want to do. It's faster than my website. I, I get my messages right away. Okay? Love you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a pretty one. It's a pretty one out there. Water's very calm, so if you are somebody that's about to ask somebody, the water's very calm. It's very peaceful, right? Whatever's going to be is going to be. Relax.